Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create mosaics using sea glass. And today I'm going to show you how to make a small mosaic called The Beach Is My Happy Place. So when I create sea glass mosaics, I really like to work big. The bigger the better. So I'm really challenging myself with this project to work small. So for you, if you're just starting to make sea glass mosaics, you might find doing a small project a little bit easier to take on. So I'm only using this 8x8 frame, not going very big. I usually don't go this small, so this is a bit of a challenge. The other thing that's different in this one is I'm going to put some writing on it. So I'm going to use this Sharpie marker. It's an oil marker, and if you get these, they do stick on glass. So if you want to see about getting those, I put a link in the comments down below to where you could buy some of these Sharpie markers. But I do find they work quite good on glass, but that's still a bit different for me to put writing in my sea glass mosaic. And the other thing that's a bit different about this one, I'm going to leave the sky part of the mosaic without sea glass so that there's room for the writing. So it's a little bit different. I hope you like it. So the other things you're going to need, you'll need the pattern. I drew a pattern on a piece of paper here. You need tape to tape your pattern to the glass and you'll need your sea glass. So the sea glass that I'm using in this one, when I'm working small, I tend to use small sea glass as opposed to big pieces because the more sea glass you use, the more interesting it is and you can fit more small pieces on a small frame. So I have white, brown, green, and I have quite a few little aqua pieces as well. And I have a few little blue pieces because I always like to have a bit of blue accent and I'm going to make a blue anukshuk in this piece. And I also have a few shells, a few little pebbles, and a little piece of petrified wood just to add some interesting detail to the beach. And then I have my clear silicone kitchen and bath adhesive caulk, which I use for my glue. I have my craft tweezers and little sticks to clean up the mess. A little bit of paper towel to clean up any messy bits and I'm ready to go. So let's get so started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the glass out of the frame and for the purposes of this project I'm going to set the frame aside. I know I usually put the glass into the frame and do it that way but for this one I'm going to do put, just put the pattern right onto the glass. So here's my pattern. So I'm going to put it behind the glass and tape it on. Now if you're interested in doing this project, there is a downloadable version of the pattern and instructions on my website, JackieTrimperSeaGlass.com, or you can just draw your own pattern. So I'm just taping that directly to the glass. So one of the things to note if you're putting your pattern directly onto your glass instead of having the glass directly in the frame, I've included a little border around the edge here to make sure I don't put any sea glass past this line because if I do, then it's not going to fit inside the frame. So just do a little bit of a line along there to make sure that you don't put anything on the glass there or you'll run into problems. Believe me, I've done it before. Now first I'm going to put the writing on. So what I'm using is this Sharpie oil-based paint marker. And make sure you get the oil-based because those are good for glass. Now I have to turn this upside down for you so that it's upside right for me. And this just goes directly onto the glass. So I'm just going to follow my writing that's on my pattern try to be fairly steady and I'm going to write the beach is my happy place. Now I'm going to do the green. So I'm going to look at my green sea glass and arrange pieces of green that will make the heart. So I want to outline the sea glass heart in green sea glass. Thank you. 
So that silicone is going to take a while to dry, so it gives me a chance to poke the pieces into place so that they're lined up just perfectly. And the next thing I'm going to do, I don't want to knock those out of place before they set, so I'm going to work on the brown and the sand down below. So I have a few shells here that I want to put there. So I'll put those in place. I have a piece of petrified wood. This piece right here, it's really sparkly. You might not be able to see in the light there. And I want to put a few pebbles here and a few little shells just to make that kind of beachy down in the corner. And again, I have to be very careful that I arrange the brown pieces so that they aren't touching beyond that line to make sure that I can still get the frame on after I finish my sea glass mosaic. So you can see here how you can create a secondary pattern in your brown because I have all these lines going through the sand and by varying the size of the pieces, so you get bigger pieces here, bigger pieces here, smaller pieces here, it helps emphasize those lines in the sand. So now that I've got the beach finished, the green here has set enough that it's not going to shift out of place while I'm filling in the heart. So I'm just going to find a bunch of white and aqua sea glass pieces and fill in the heart with white and aqua. So lastly, I'm going to add my nice blue accent, put the Anukshuk, and when I look at this, my Anukshuk is going to make me think of me being at the beach, enjoying my happy place. And then that's my sea glass mosaic, the beach is my happy place. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave this to set for a while and then I will show you how I put it into the frame and do the hanging hardware and then it will be ready to hang in the window. Have the sun shining through it and it will remind me of being at the beach collecting sea glass every time I look at it. So the silicone has set well enough now for me to be able to lift that up and not worry about the sea glass falling out of place. So I'm going to take my frame now this particular frame was a shadow box so it has an insert there so I'll take that out and I'll put my piece back in. As you can see not all of the silicone has set so there's still some white bits there but that will continue to set and then it'll be all dry. Then I'm just going to put that insert in and I will just run a bead of silicone all the way around the outside. I like to do this because it really secures things in place and it keeps the sea glass piece from falling out of the frame. You might think it's a bit of overkill. Most, most of the time when you see paintings or pictures hung inside of frames they don't have this much secure in it. There's just the little you know, the little nails and stuff. But I like to make sure my sea glass isn't going to fall out and I've had really good luck with this. It stays in, it doesn't come out, 
if something happens and you do want to change it, you can just remove the hardened silicone fairly easily. It's a great product because it holds things in place really well, but you can remove it when you want to. So that's it. Now I just have to wait for it to dry. Now I will attach my hanging hardware. I have these little hanging bits here and I have some hanging wire. So I'm going to attach that near the top of the frame. You just screw those in and then I'll attach the hanging hardware and hang it in the window. And it's fairly straightforward. I'll show you a picture of it hanging in the window.